Hey, what's up guys, I'm Renavir, and today is actually going to be about another super team video on how the New York Knicks could actually be the next super team, in my opinion, obviously. I make a lot of these videos on teams, like how they could be the next super team. They do really good, to be honest, and I actually do really enjoy making these, so if you ever... Like, you want more of these videos, just hit the like button, and if you really like this video, hit the subscribe button. I know that's kind of a sad thing to say before a video starts, but who cares? So without further ado, without me rambling on, let's, write, let's get right into this video. So my first reason is that Kristaps Porzingis, who is a late first round draft pick, actually, um, is obviously really good and could be a potential future Hall of Famer, and he, um, is, like, you know, obviously he's really good. He's going to be the next all-star. He would be on the Olympic team if he wasn't from Africa. And he averages 18.1 points per game, 7.2 rebounds per game, and 1.5 assists per game. And that's actually extremely good for, I think, his, like, third, second year in the league. And he's, I mean, he's just obviously extremely good. And he's obviously also being coached by one of the best to ever do it in Carmelo Anthony, one of the best shooters to ever live. One of the best players to live in in the current era of the NBA. One of the best players who averages 24.8 points per game, 6.6 6 rebounds per game, 3.1 assists per game. And he's a 10-time All-Star and a 6-time All-NBA. So he's been around for a while. He's very experienced. And he's a future Hall of Famer. Maybe second or first ballot Hall of Famer. You never know. So, I mean, he's being coached by one of the best players he could be coached by. So... You have young star being coached by future Hall of Famer. Yeah, that's obviously just like a key to success, and he is really gonna get helped out by doing that. Cause I think Carmelo is a really good teacher, probably, in trying to help young aspects. And then I mean, for my second reason is like they're in the weak conference, like they're in the Eastern Conference where they have Brooklyn Nets, who literally have averaged the worst record in the NBA for the past like five years. And then, also, Cleveland and Toronto are the only real threats to make it to a finals, and Cleveland's going to make it to the finals every year. So, really, Cleveland and Toronto are the only two big competitors in that conference, and besides that, it's pretty much wide open. So, they, they always have a chance to have a breakout year and be extremely good. It's just about, depends what they can, like, build around Carmelo Anthony and Christoph Porzingis. Well, maybe not even Carmelo Anthony, because they've been looking to trade him. But Christoph Porzingis, their future Hall of Famer, All Star dude. So I mean, really, they any team in that conference has a chance to have a breakout year. And for my third reason is like what they could actually get for a Carmelo Anthony trade because obviously they've been looking to get rid of Carmelo or trade him because Carmelo's actually been wanting to leave too. So I mean, they really want to get someone good for Carmelo as he's still not terrible. And this, y'all might be like, well, this kind of like contradicts your first reason, but no, they've been together for about two years now, so I'm pretty sure Porzingis knows almost all Carmelo's tricks, so he doesn't really need to be led by him, and Porzingis is becoming a natural leader now, so I don't think he really needs to be led by Melo. So, one of the possible trade rumors that are going around is Andre Drummond and Tyler Harris for Joe Kim Noah and Carmelo Anthony. And the reason this trade makes sense for both sides is because. The Detroit Pistons need a good shooter to go along with their young point guard, Reggie Jackson. And then the New York Knicks need to get rid of that Joakim Noah contract. That's terrible. And they need a dominant defensive rebounds, rebounding center, which is Andre Drummond. And you compare that with Chris Porzingis. That's just a recipe for success. And I think with that, just because of how weak that conference is, they'll probably make the playoffs with just that. And then, like, they'll be able to build around them, too, and probably be able to get a really, really high seed one year and maybe become the next super team. You never know. And then my fourth and final reason is... That Christoph Porzingis, he has been working extremely hard. If you follow him on any social media, he is always in the gym, always working hard. And he's, if you watched any of his interviews, he was talking about how he's extremely upset that he had another losing season. But also, like, this dude is going to be so much more mature because he came in as the youngest African player to ever play in the NBA. And he was like 20 or 19 when he came in. Now he's 22, so he's extremely more mature in his game. And I'm sure, like, he's stronger, bigger, faster. And, I mean, he's he's still in his early prime, so no telling how good he could be this year than he was last year. I think he's going to definitely have improved from last year, so no telling how good he actually could be. So, in a recap, it's like, Chris Hawk Porzingis, he's been trained and coached up by one of the best players to ever live in this era of basketball with Carmelo Anthony. They're in a extremely weak conference with one of the worst teams in the league and only two real threats. They 
could get good assets for trading Carmelo and Kristaps Ky- Porzingis just wants to win. So he wants to win so badly. I mean, there. So that's pretty much gonna be it for this video, unfortunately. But if you ever like this video at any point, hit the like button. It would mean a lot. And if you really like this video and you really want to make me feel good, hit the subscribe button. We just hit 50 subscribers. We're at 51 right now, which is insane. We already gained subscribers. It's been like uh, two days since I gained 50. So that's that's crazy to me. But remember, if you like this video a lot, hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Or comment below if you want more Super Team videos like this, or if you want like more diff- different type of videos for me whatever you want and that's pretty much gonna be it for this video so kids always remember never do your vegetables always eat your drugs stay safe wear your seatbelt goodbye Boom.